Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you must be aware, uh, we are we are very interested on developing experience and skills about working um, with um, protection relays. And today I have a very practical job. Uh, today we are doing something quite interesting in the ABB Ref 630 that we have here at the lab. Um, today we are improving the relay. Uh, we'll receive a brand new uh, human machine interface. And today I am doing just this short video to show you the basic process that you need to follow if you are changing or substituting the human machine interface um, it's extremely simple it's a very practical job but I, I decide to record this video to show you in any case that you need to do the same procedure with your ref okay well let's start Okay, um, here, we, here we are, okay? As you can see, um, in front of us, we have here the REF630 uh, that we have here at the lab, the ABB product. And the job today is a very practical job. The very basic practical job is uh, changing the human machine interface. We have a brand new, and the idea is that we want to remove this one and install the brand new, okay? As you can see, the relay is disconnected, totally disconnected to any 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 cable, any plug, and the relay is totally off. Okay, and um, and to do the job is extremely simple. What we need to do is basically remove four screws that we have here at the human machine interface, okay? The first thing that you need to notice is that those screws at the human machine interface, they are very special screw, okay? If you are familiar with some mechanical stuff, uh, you must recognize that those screws, they have a, a star shape, basically a six point star shape pattern. And, and that received the name Torch, okay? Um, those screw received the name Torch, and you need to have the proper uh, screwdriver to uh, remove those, okay? Torch, it, it's a relative new technology. It's basically created and developed in 1967 from the car industry. Um, a company in the U US, Textron, create those uh, screw. And the idea is that they have a very good contact with the driver and it's very simple to uh, control a uh, DOS screw, okay? Well, uh, as you can see here, uh, also I have some security measure. Uh, I am using an anti-static mat, and this anti-static mat is basically a protection for the electronic device, for the ref. And also I have here the connection. I have here the 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 connection for uh, the anti-static mat in order that I am at the same potential and there is no possibility of a static induction destroying the device, okay? What I will do now is I have here, uh, as you can see, I have the screwdriver with the very specific um, start point using for the torts. And what I will do right now is removing the screw, okay? The first one, let me remove the second one, then the third, and finally there is a four here at the very bottom. And as you can see, uh, the human machine interface is already loose here. And what I will do is I will put in uh, on the table because uh, all of you must be aware that between the human machine interface, between the human machine interface and the relay, there is an Ethernet cable that we need to take in consideration, okay? We need to remove this Ethernet cable. And it's extremely simple. And then
and right now we remove the Ethernet cable and we have here the all human machine interface with the screw and it has been removed from the relay. Next step, we have here the brand new uh, human machine interface coming from ABB. And right now I am showing you, we have here um, back with the original torch screw. Of course, here you can see this is the documentation telling you that it's very important that you use the anti-static measurements. Okay, you, you need to take care that you must be at the same potential of this, uh, the component in order to avoid any kind of static induction here. And then we have the brand new human machine interface, okay? Um, also, there are some uh, documentation and especially very important, the sticker with the name REF630. What I will do now is I will put aside the bots. And now in front of me, you have here, this is the protection. Be careful with the static. And we are removing the new human machine interface. And we are locating here at the table. And the next step is I need to reconnect again the um, Ethernet cable that is connecting the relay with the human machine interface. Now they are connected. And next step, I need to use the screw in order to uh, fit the human machine interface up to this new device. Let's use the torch. And this is the next one. And the third one. And finally, the fourth one. Now it's time to, yes, sorry. And now we have fit the human machine interface here to this ABB Ref 630. We have one screw that we can keep for a substitution. And pro probably the last step here is that we would like to um, put the sticker into onto this very important device. Let's do that. Right now, we are installing here the identification, the label that says this is the REF630. Okay, next step, um, I, will, I will include here the power supply and I will switch on the device for you in order that you can see the new human machine interface properly working. Okay, right now I include the cables providing the 48 DC uh, voltage supply to this device. And right now we are switching on. And as you can see, uh, the relay is starting up 
And what I will do is I will remove this protection from the screen in order that you can have a better look. And right now the relay is starting up. You can see that the green LED ready is blinking because the device is running the checkup and the starting software. A few more seconds and the device should be ready. And here we go. We have right now a perfect human machine interface and we are able to enjoy a clear screen where we can see all the settings and that is brilliant right now. We have the device ready and we can see clear all the details and all the data of this REV630. Well, we are finishing this video. Um, today uh, we run a very short video. It was a very practical uh, activity. Uh, we we substitute the old human machine interface and we install a new human machine interface. And right now the Ref630 is properly working. As you can see, uh, we, we we installed the new human machine interface. The process was extremely simple. What you need to have is the proper tools and take the proper uh, security measures using the anti-static mat and, and the anti-static waste, okay? Um, I would like to close this video telling you that this video is just a instructional video. It's not a substitute of the original documentation or the original videos created by ABB. The idea of my videos is try to show you the practical stuff and, and try to increase the speed of your learning about uh, HANOS with uh, relays, but it, it, my videos are not a substitution of the official documentation. For proper information, go to the technical support coming from ABB. Well, this is all for this video. Again, thank you, ABB, for the strong support. And thank you to all of you for watching the videos. Thank you very much for your comments. And I will see you very soon in the next video. In the next video, we are connecting the REF630 using the Ethernet port, the front Ethernet port, to the... Um, to the software, to the PCM600, ABB PC, PCM600, in order to collect the information of this relay and prepare the settings. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, I hope yes. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay in touch. Thank you. Bye now.